That's it. You're good to go. Okay, let's move this thing out. Constantine wants to team up at the copper mill before the storm sets in. God damn it, it is fucking freezing in this place. Handles to you. Almost got it. Surprised any of this shit still works. Looks like this was deliberately sabotaged. Hmm. Maybe the natives. All the more reason to shoot them on sight. Jacob, I found a way to open the inner gate. Head to the courtyard. I'm already inside. I need to get in there. to leave this frozen hell. Then I have good news. Reconnaissance from the scouts. The natives have a settlement on the other side of the mountain. Soon, you will have your day. We both will. Just as long as you don't lose focus again. What do you mean? You're sentimental about her. The Croft girl, I can tell because she's still alive. We can't afford to dwell in the past. You doubt me? 
You know what I've given to Trinity, what I've sacrificed, what I face. <coughs> I'm fine. Life has not been kind to either of us, but I swore I'd always protect you. Now who's being sentimental? I promise you, all of this will be worth it in the end. With the Divine Source, you will live. But more importantly, you will live in a world cleansed of sin. Send your men to this settlement. Find out what they know. It's too dangerous. Let me have my pleasures. None of this will matter. The day our work is accomplished. Constantine, you're needed in the holding cells. We're in this together, sister. Remember. Always. What are you doing? Mankind shall be judged. The non-believers turned to ash and swept away, and the pure of faith will be raised up and given life eternal. Get out! I'll find you! You've got to find them! Keep looking! They have to be here somewhere.
Jacob! Lara, be careful. They're everywhere. You'll run into some trouble. There he is! Take him out! Damn it! Shit! For the first time in weeks, things are becoming clear. I know. There's something hidden here. The Soviets came looking for it too. And now Trinity and Anna. Jacob, I think I'm close to the train yard. Are you there? What 
took you so long? I thought I lost you back there. Not a chance. Thanks for getting me out of that place. Let's move! We can get up through there! See? Drink this. It'll help. You could have left me in that river. Would you have left me? <laughs> I'd have thought about it. <laughs> <laughs> what makes you think I didn't? What makes you risk so much to come here? The Divine Source. I know what you're looking for. But I want to know why. When I was young, it was just my father and I. He was an archaeologist, too. In his last years, he was... obsessed with myths about immortality. Of course, no one believed him, including me.
Our last conversation was a fight. He... He took his own life. I thought I'd come to terms with it, but... Something else happened. And I saw something that I thought was impossible. It changed everything. I realized my father was right. He died alone and broken. But he died for something. So you believe the divine source is real? I honestly don't know. But if there is any truth to it, I have to find out. It, it needs to be researched and studied. It could make a difference to the world. It's not something to be hidden away. A difference is not always for the best. Would you wish Trinity to have the secret to immortality? Of course not. And I would ask you not to abandon your quest, but to alter its path. Join me and my people. Help us repel Constantine and Trinity. Then after that's done. And you leave our valley untouched. But knowing that you've done the right thing. No. I'm sorry. I can't do that. Can't? Or won't? I'll fight Trinity with you, but my goal remains the same. If I give up now... You'd feel like you'd be letting him down. Not just him. I need answers, Jacob. I need to understand. You're leaving. Right now, my concern is for my village. It's over the mountain pass. A day's journey on foot. But there may be a faster way through the old copper mine. You rest. I'll be back soon. Jacob, are you there? Damn it. Where is he? Alone again. Jacob's gone ahead. There's something about him that I can't quite put my finger on. It's strange, but almost comforting. Like I could tell him anything, and it wouldn't faze him. I sense no judgment from him. Yet, at the same time, he's hard to read. My instincts tell me he's a good man. He saved my life. I think I can trust him, at least for now. But I can't shake a nagging feeling that he knows more than he's letting on.